Now that we've finished with our pre-shading and pre-highlighting, I'd like to move on into spattering. Spattering is just another tool that adds texture to the skin, which creates more depth. The colors we'll be using for the shadow areas are purple and blue. For the highlight areas, it's caramel and transparent brown ochre. Okay, we're just going to add some blue to the airbrush. along with some water just to thin it down. Do a little back flush to mix it up. To achieve the spatter effect, you need to turn down your air pressure to 3 to 5 PSI, and the pattern depends on the trigger pull. When you think you have everything set up, the pattern should resemble this. Now let's begin. Where you want to apply this spatter pattern is just in the general shadow areas. You don't have to be too specific at this point. Now that we have the first shadow spatter areas, I'm just going to do a general spray just to tie all the areas together real quick. Open up the airbrush, open up the air pressure, and you just do a general spray just to tie it all together. little water again open it back up do a general wash that spattering of the shadow areas. Now we're going to do the spattering of the highlight areas. The first color will be caramel. You can barely see this, but you do want to be subtle with this spattering because you don't want it to over power anything that you've done. So if it looks like you barely can't see it, the more transitions that you put on there, the better it will be. Okay, I'm going to open the airbrush back up and we're going to do a halo over the tie it all together very lightly Okay, with this ochre, I'm going to hit the highlight areas again, but uh, just not the not the very top of the highlights.
once again, gonna open it back up. Do a little bit of a halo. Just to tie everything back together. Now that we're done with the spattering of the highlight and shadow areas, I'm just going to spray a transition layer. A transition layer is just basically a wash of the base coat that's watered down. 